This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Oh, how the times have changed on the automotive landscape. Fiat, a brand which was absent from the North American market for close to 30 years, is back as the parent company of Chrysler. And rather than becoming another brand putting a mid-sized sedan in the mix, Fiat has chosen to go with its strength, small cars with good fuel economy. The 500C tries to do all of that and offers some of the allure of a European convertible. For a lot of American drivers, that small size is a little less than what they expect. Considering a length of 139 inches, or just short of 14 feet depending upon how you measure it, the 500C doesn't take up a lot of pavement space. The interior uses every available inch to provide seating for two adults up front, and possibly two in the rear. But can it meet the demands of drivers in this market? Under the hood is a 1.4 liter multi-air four-cylinder engine. It's rated at 101 horsepower and 98 foot-pounds of torque. Fuel economy in the 30s is the least to expect, but the trade-out is a car with a lag and pickup when merging on the highway. At least, that's how the standard engine package performs. Wisely, Fiat is still offering a manual transmission in the 500, so a driver can at least think they're squeezing the most performance from the car. We found the driving and riding experience to be workable in most urban driving situations. But to be honest, a long road trip is not something to look forward to in the subcompact. A cargo space of 23 cubic feet can barely handle two fully loaded backpacks, let alone get two regular sized luggage pieces inside. The suspension is a mix of McPherson struts up front and a twist beam rear axle with coil springs and shock absorbers. Standard four wheel disc brakes are more than capable to stop this 2400 pound vehicle. In all fairness, we have to remember this is the basic Fiat which was positioned to get back into the North American market. And for drivers who want more from Fiat, the choice will be the performance-oriented Abarth, or they can wait for the larger 500L model to come to these shores. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.